hello guys welcome to gc tech hub in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to set up and monetize your upwork account as a freelancer this is the best place where you can sell your digital products get jobs get paid in dollars and earn from it so i'm just going to open the app if you're new to upwork it's going to ask you to create an account but I already have an existing account, so you can click. I just created this account for the purpose of this training. This is not my official Upwork account. So to set this up now, you just go to profile. Let me show you. Profile is up here. Click on it. So you can see my profile there. I got a Gerald Freelancer. So I'm going to tap on profile. So you're going to set this up to have all your informations. Set it to have your real names. Set your position. You can see mine here. That is what I do. What they're going to give you, the jobs they are going to suggest for you will be, will be dependent on what you put as the skill you have. If you're into social media marketing, put it here. If you're into copywriting, blog posting just put it here that's the type of job because this will determine the type of job they will refer to you as a freelancer so this is my um work hour this is how much i'm worth per hour like ten dollars per hour you multiply by the number of hours you're going to be working for the client so this is the work history there's no work history yet on this account and the most important part of this whole profile is the portfolio these clients want to see your past jobs. This is where they will now see, okay, this person can handle this job. So this portfolio now is um, the one I just added from my past jobs. So that's why I say you need to master this skill first before you come to the market because they need to see previous jobs. So as a startup, as a startup um, digital creator, you need to work on yourself. Even if you have not gotten any job from a client, do self-projects, do your personal projects. Go to people's accounts, see what they have done, copy it, replicate it, try to perfect yourself. Then you now come to the marketplace. So I'm just going to show you my profile and show you how to set up a profile. So I'm just going to click on this crush and crunch. This is a profile. Oh, this has been deleted. Okay. Let me go to the next one. Great global. So let me edit it. So this is a job I did for a graphic designer in Oweri. So go to select templates. So to set up this profile, when you click on edit, when you're setting it up afresh, I'm going to show you how to set it up afresh, but let me just take you, let me show you a rundown of what this template looks like. So you can see the pictures I uploaded. You're going to write the project description. Brits Global is a digital company that deals with graphic design, web design, and creation of digital products. This is what they want to see. So now they asked, what is the client's goal? The client wants to have a shield-like frame with the initial of B and an inscription of a graphic pen inside. So what did I do? I created the shield and synced the graphic pen in the letter B. So this one now is the review. What was the client? Was the client satisfied with the job? I said client was happy and rated the job 7.5 over 10. So this is where you upload the job samples and everything. You upload the files. If there's a video, like if it's a website or a web link, you can put the video link here. You understand? So what are your deliverables and your skills? I just had to key in all the things I could do just in case any job related to this comes up project url if i had posted this on instagram i'm going to paste the instagram link here or any other social media or behance anywhere i've posted the job i'll just paste the link here for them to just go and see more of my job so i'll just quickly go to preview so this is now what the user will see this is what the person that wants the job will see from their own end what i just showed you now is the back end where you're editing so from the user end, that's the person looking for a graphic designer or a digital marketer or anything, will now see this. They will now see it from their end like this. So they'll see the title of the project. 
my skills and deliverables, the job description, that's the project description. Then they will see the uploaded works. You can see it. So these are the designs I uploaded while setting up my profile. You can see it now. So if you're done, you click on publish. So let me show you the next project. This is Parfait Island. So I'll just take you straight to the view, to the view preview rather. So you see, you need to work on your skill, develop yourself properly before you come here. So you don't embarrass yourself. Okay, so this is the project. The title is Parfait Island. I put my skills again as usual. Describe the brand, client's goal, client's contribution, my own contribution and project success. You can see it. So I now put all of this, uploaded any related stuff. These are just logo designs. And this is the presentation. You present it in different um, ways. So this is project URL. I had posted this on my Instagram, so I just pasted the link there. They can go there and see some of my other jobs. So having done all of this, I can add more portfolios if I want. I just tap on this plus button here. I can add portfolio. When I click on it, the project title, I'll just type the project title. Maybe if it's um, G6 Global Logo Design or flyer design. So completion date is optional. I usually skip it. I will go to select template. What the select template does is to ask you how you want to, um, how you want the um, receiver, like the user to see your portfolio. Me, I usually choose classic. That's the one you saw before now. So I'll go to add details. So here where you have add details, you can see the sample text. Good description includes the following elements. Your client's goal, like what the client is looking up to. Details about your contribution to the project. What did you do in response to what the client wants? And the summary of the project success. Was the project successful? Did you end up completing it or not? So once you've done that, now you will click on upload files. When you click on upload files, to take it to your phone, let me just upload any sample file. So when this is uploaded, I'm going to select to upload another one. So once that is done, you're going to choose which one will be your main image. That's the one that will be as the cover image. You can select that. So you take note of these images that are acceptable is JPEG, GIF, PNG, and not more than 10 megabytes. Any picture above 10 megabytes will not upload. Videos above 100 MB will not upload a maximum of 60 seconds. So these skills and deliverables is where you upload the things you do, the things you can do. So you can just tap on this plus button. You can tap up to 15, graphic design, visual communication, UI, UX, social media content creation, 3D, motion graphics, social media, infographics, logo design, social media marketing. So you can upload a maximum of 15 there. Then this project URL is now where you put the link, maybe of link of your website or any other place where you may have saved a particular design. Then you can now go to preview. You can now go to preview and see what you've uploaded. You understand? You can now go to preview and see what you have uploaded. So that is how you add a portfolio to your profile. So like I said before, these skills now is the things I can do. Video introduction, you, you can record a video introduction telling people about yourself and things you can do. So this hour per week, you're the one to set it. You don't want to set what your worth is. So when you click on it, how, how long can you work? I said I can work more than 30 hours a week or less. You can say less. I just need more working time. So... If you put less time here, once you've reached that quantity of hour, once you reach that number of hour, they will not send jobs to you anymore. So I just prefer to put um, a long time so that 
they can send in jobs as many as possible to me. So still on the profile, still on the profile, you can set your language, you can set your educational history, just go ahead and set all necessary information, employment history, and other things. So the next thing now, the next important thing here now is how to search for jobs. So once you set your profile very well, you can just go to this place here and search for jobs related to what you're doing. So I'll click on this. So right here now, you can see the jobs that are available. This first one says, need for talented graphic designers. Fixed price, $60. Entry level experience. So let's click on it to see. And anyone you're applying for, make sure you, you confirm that their payment is verified. Make sure you find out that their payment is verified, like this one over here. You can see, payment is verified. This person has spent over $5,000. Is this $5,000 or $5? This is $5. This person has spent $5 on Upwork. Okay, this one here has spent $2,000 on Upwork. There are some people that their payment is not verified. Don't apply for them. Wow, this one has spent thirty k dollars on upwork so these are legit leads you can apply for okay this one needs this one is paying five dollars i don't know what this person wants so it's just for you to just wow this is three hundred dollars okay now this one the payment is not verified you can see the amounts they are offering three hundred dollars but the payment is not verified so don't apply for jobs like this don't apply for jobs like this they will just waste your connects they would waste your connect. Don't apply for jobs like this. Any clients that the payment is not verified, please just keep it. Please. All right. So let's go back to the top. So let's say we want to apply for this job now. Need for talented graphic designers. I might just click on it to see the job details properly. So this is what they want. This is what they want. So you can just take your time to go through. If it's something you can do. If it's something you can do. You submit a proposal. So you can see the job the job was posted six hours ago. That's another thing you should check. So you don't go and apply for a job that is a month old on Upwork. Just look for like more recent jobs to apply for. You can see this one is a month like and six hours ago. This one here was posted two hours ago. So these ones that are fresh are the ones you rush and be sure you get it. So in rushing it, you have to get your own self in place. For instance, if you want to submit a proposal right now, if you want to submit a proposal, when you click on this submit proposal, when you click on submit proposal, when you click on submit proposal, you will see something like this. You see something like this now. So you're now going to set how much. This, okay, this one is fixed price, so you don't need to set an um, hourly rate. But Upwork has their service fee, which they are going to deduct according to how much you earn. So for this $60, they are taking $12 and paying you $48 for this particular project. You understand? So if you want to see why, you can just click on explain this. And they'll explain to you why they are charging you that particular rate. So, the most important part of this proposal submission is the cover letter. That is what they will read because it's what you're offering. So, I have already created a cover letter template which I'll be sharing with us. And you're going to use it and edit it to suit any particular um, proposal you're submitting depending on what the client wants so let me see if i still have it in my clipboard okay i have it here so i'm going to paste it i'm going to paste it so this is this this is greetings by reading your job description it jumped out of me because this is what i do and i have also checked your job sample thoroughly to see if your job template suits my skill set and it does 
I can give your music brand. So this one now, the one I wrote for before is a music brand. So I had to customize it to suit them. I can give your music brand the best infographics and designs it deserves as I have done for some of my clients. I now attached some of the jobs I have done related to musical designs. You understand? So I'm going to drop these templates. Okay, I had to even drop their, their Instagram handles so they can go and check it out. So if you don't have all these details, you can just delete any part that you don't you can't provide. You understand? This is a template. So you can edit it accordingly. So when you're done, you're going to submit up to 10 files or of sample jobs. You're going to submit 10 sample jobs here and upload it. So now there's this thing they call connect. Connect is like the price you pay to submit a proposal. This thing used to be free before, but people now abuse it. They just send anything, even if they can't do the job, they'll just send proposal. So Upwork now had to upgrade and now added connect. Before you submit a proposal, it's going to cost you something. And when this connect finishes, you need to buy to stock up. So before you submit a proposal, be sure it's something you can do. You're going to have 100 free connects when you create a new account. So this project now, the, this project needs to connect for me to submit this proposal. And there's what they call Boost. Boost helps you keep your own proposal at the top. So if I want to boost, this will cost me extra three connects. So I'm spending five connects on just this one proposal. So I advise you don't boost because when you're boosting, you're going to be spending more connects. And you can see all I have left in this account is just 81. It's just 81. So I advise you just use the two connects to send any proposal or just use the actual connect that that proposal requests for to send it. Don't use the boost option for now. So I think that is it basically on how to use the Upwork. So these are the available jobs. You can always scroll through to see the one that best suits you. All these are showing graphic design because that is what I set as my own field. That's my major field. Wow, this one has spent 200K on Upwork. This is amazing. Oh, their name is even amazing. Oh, they're taking amazing graphic designers. Okay. So you can actually apply for this type of people. They are legit. They can pay you instantly. This one too. Okay, this one has spent $20. This one has spent $3,000. Okay. So you can just go through and apply for anyone you feel is suitable to your brand. So if you got value from this, please subscribe to this YouTube channel to support us. And like this video, share this video, and please comment so that you can get to many other people out there. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.